Hello everyone. Uh, here I present my Newtonian telescope, the Skywatcher Black Diamond 150, with a focal length of 1200 millimeters. Originally designed for planetary observations, as you can see. So, uh, due to its uh, small uh, central obstruction, it gives you more contrast in the image and you can easily uh, set it up for uh, higher magnifications looking inside the focuser taking the eyepiece out you can see the magnitude of the central obstruction caused by the secondary mirror compared to the aperture of the primary here we have the finder scope which can be easily pulled off as you can see it's a very rugged uh, thing it's all metal except uh, for the eyepiece looking uh, inside it you can see this image and also I have to note that I have taken out the original crosshairs and I replaced it with a reticle from an old uh, Russian military monocular So it goes back like this. This whole thing is uh, pretty long and when you assemble it all together it looks uh, very impressive. Uh, take a look at the uh, primary mirror's uh, support. There is one adjustment screw and one uh, fixing screw. And also I have to note that uh, the springs holding the uh, primary mirror in place are uh, uh, strong enough to avoid the uh, lateral vibrations of the primary mirror. Some notes about the, uh, the equatorial mount, the NEQ3 mount. I'm uh, satisfied with this mount and here you can see the objective lens of the uh, polar alignment scope this is the other end of the rect ascension axis as you can see theoretically looking at the celestial north pole, north pole. and uh, looking inside the scope you can see the reticule with uh, all the figures uh, necessary for uh, the alignment you can see the uh, the cross with the northern celestial pole, the position of Polaris and the two constellations uh, aiding uh, for the alignment. Uh, this mount is uh, equipped with motors. This is the control unit of the two motors. Uh, the battery pack providing the power. And uh, here is the declination motor. Uh, it has a screw which uh, loosening the screw allows you to adjust the manually and tightening the screw couples the motor onto the axis. This is the rect ascension motor. Uh, helps you tracking the objects very precisely. So you can use this setup for astrophotography with CCD or DSLR cameras so looks like this and uh, also some notes about the focuser the Crayford focuser is all metal and it's very stable I like it it has no backlashes it's uh, also motorized the, and here is the control unit of the focuser motor so pushing the buttons, uh, you can see right now I'm going uh, extra focal, pulling the eyepiece out, and right now it's going intrafocal, uh, pulling the eyepiece inside. And also I can set the speed of the motor uh, from the little button. The finish of the tube is pretty beautiful. 
uh, it's uh, as you can see uh, not uh, black it's a dark brown metalized dark brown so uh, let's take a look at the support of the secondary mirror which you can see right there uh, as you can see this is as a, as I said, the central obstruction is say uh, it's uh, small in this case, and you can see also the spider veins are uh, thin enough, so uh, you have uh, very uh, little secondary diffraction, which also improves the contrast. Uh, this telescope, uh, originally a planetary observation telescope, is uh, pretty pretty much suitable for. Uh, let's say it like this, uh, universal observations. So I measured its uh, field of view with a 33 millimeter eyepiece and the field of view is 1 degree and 20 seconds so most of the deep sky objects will fit into that uh, field of view. Some notes about the primary mirror as you can see there. Uh, <coughs> This uh, mark over there uh, shows the mirror was was cast into form from molten uh, uh, glass. It was not cut out from a big table of glass. So the material of the uh, primary mirror is uh, Pyrex glass according to its color and its nature, which is uh, pretty good. This is a very powerful instrument from Skywatcher, uh, pretty much universal for all kinds of observations. Thanks for watching and goodbye.